The Parable of the Workers in the Vineyard. The story begins with a landowner who owned a vineyard. Early in the morning, as the sun was coming up, he went out to hire workers for his vineyard. He found some workers, and he told them to come with him, and he would give them work. They agreed on the price of one denarius for a day's work. That was the normal payment for one day's work. So they returned with the landowner and started working in his vineyard early in the morning. After some time, the landowner went out to hire more workers for his vineyard. He found more people waiting to be hired and told them to come with him and he would give them work. He said, I will pay you what is fair. So without knowing how much they would make, they returned with the landowner to his vineyard and they started to work. Around lunchtime, the landowner went out to town to hire more workers. When he got there, he found more workers who hadn't been hired and told them to come with him and he would give them work. He said, I'll pay you what is fair. So without knowing how much they would make, they returned with the landowner to his vineyard and they started to work in the middle of the day, which was the hottest time of day. Yet again, the landowner went out to town to hire more workers. When he got there, he found more workers who hadn't been hired and told them to come with him and he would give them work in his vineyard. He said, I will pay you what is fair. So without knowing how much they would make, they returned with the landowner to his vineyard and they started to work in the afternoon. And finally, the landowner went into town for the last time. When he got there, he found more workers who had been waiting all day to be hired and still hadn't been hired. And he told them to come with him and he would give them work in his vineyard. He said, I will pay you what is fair. So again, without knowing how much they would make, they returned with the landowner to his vineyard and started to work in the afternoon. After he hired this final group of workers, he called all of the workers in to get their payment. He told them to line up from those who were hired last to those who were hired first. He began paying each of the workers for their day's work. To those who had worked the shortest, he gave one denarius. To the next group, he also gave one denarius. And to all of the groups, he gave one denarius. The workers who were hired first were upset. They felt that the landowner had been unfair because they had worked all day, but those who had just started were paid the same as them. The landowner responded, I am not being unfair. Didn't you agree to work for one denarius? I wanted to give the same to the one that was hired last as I gave to you. Or are you jealous because of my generosity? Then he said this, So the last will be first, and the first will be last. What does this story mean? Well, the landowner represents God, and we are the workers. God is generous and gives all of us the gift of salvation and eternal life. Just like the workers in this story, they weren't paid because of their work, but they were paid because of the landowner's generosity. We are also rewarded not because of our work, but because of God's work and his generosity. Jesus came to the earth to die for us. This is the work that God did, and he did it for us. Now because of him, the work is finished, and all that we have to do is accept this gift from God and begin working for him. What are you going to do? If you enjoyed this video, please do consider liking this video as well as subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Also, feel free to come and check out more of our content on our website, fruitsofspirit.com. We'll hope to see you there.